Hello and welcome to the video. I'd like to chat with you in this video about some backup types including full, differential, and incremental. Let's begin. Someone once told me, they said, hey Keith, there's only two types of people in the world. And they are people who have lost data and people who will lose data. Because we all know that data has the potential to be lost, we definitely want to have backups of virtually everything. In a traditional computing environment, where maybe we're backing up to digital tape, there's three basic backup types I'd like to chat with you about. They are full, incremental, and differential. And here's how they can be used. We could, for example, on Sunday at 11 p.m., we could go ahead and make a full backup. And a full backup is just what it implies, everything. We're backing up all the data. Now, what's the negative of that? The negative is it takes time. If you have 1,200 terabytes of data, <laughs> it's going to take a lot of time to back all of that up. So because it does take so long, we might not want to do a full backup every single night. For example, maybe we do the full backup on Sunday, and then on Monday at 11 o'clock p.m., we do something called an incremental backup. And what the incremental backup does, it simply says, I'm going to go ahead and back up all the data that has changed since the last backup. In this case, the last backup was the full backup. And then Tuesday comes along. And at 11 p.m., we do another incremental backup. And here's the part I want to share with you. This incremental backup is only going to back up the changes, the differences, the delta, if you will, since the last backup, which was this incremental backup. So let's say Wednesday early morning we have a system failure and we want to restore everything from Tuesday at 11 o'clock p.m. back through Sunday. What we would do is have to do three restores. We'd have to restore the full backup, the incremental that we did on Monday, and the incremental that we did on Tuesday. So the restore could take quite a bit of time because we have to get all those tape sets ready and restore them. Now, if you've ever heard of that game show called Name That Tune, it's where the contestants are trying to name that tune in the least number of notes. Like, I can name that tune in three notes. And one guy says, I can name that tune in two notes. And then he goes for it. Well, with backups, we could use something called a differential backup, and we could restore all the data with less than three restores. And here's how it works. I'm going to put a line separating the two. So we start off on Sunday at 11 p.m. again, and we do our full backup because periodically we are going to want to do a full backup at some point. And then on Monday at 11 p.m., instead of doing a full backup, we do a differential backup, which are all the changes since the full backup. So at this point, just looking at Sunday and Monday, the actual backup information is identical with incremental versus differential. But where it changes is when we go to Tuesday. Check this out. On Tuesday at 11 p.m., we do another differential backup. And here's the big reveal. With this differential backup, it's going to back up anything that's changed since the last full backup. And if we did another differential on Wednesday, it would also back up everything that's changed all the way since the last full backup. Now, what's the benefit of this? Well, the benefit of this is if we want to restore this data, we would restore the full backup and we would only have to restore the latest differential because that has all the changes since the last full backup. So as a review, the incrementals are only backing up data that's changed since the last backup of any type. So Monday's incremental caught everything that changed since the full backup, and Tuesday's incremental backup captured everything since the Monday backup. Whereas with the differential, we'll have the full backup, and the latest differential is going to have everything since that original full backup. One common question I get is, hey, why not just do a full backup every single night? And the answer to that is time. The backup window may not be big enough to do that backup every single night because it takes so long to back up. Now, regarding restoring, if we had full backups, that would be the fastest of all these methods to restore because all that backup information is in one set. However, if we take a look at the full and incremental versus the full and differential, the differential option is going to be quicker to restore than the incremental. The other thing I want to point out to you is that if we're doing the incremental option, and let's say, for example, this data set from Monday night is messed up or damaged some way, the data that changed between the full backup and that Monday backup, that is gone. We are going to have to recreate that, re-input it, because we can't restore that. However, with the differential, if the Monday tape backup went sour and we don't have it anymore, but we still have the Tuesday because this differential has everything since the full backup, we can still do a full restore. 
Hey, I appreciate you joining me. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.